Hey, this is Brett the Hoosier Carnivore. I've been inspired uh, by Bill Knott and JT Poco Moonshine family. They made a recipe. Uh, Bill Knott came up with it first, I believe. Bacon wrapped steak fingers. So Bill did his, JT did his, now it's my turn. I'm going to take it a step further. Just watch. All right, so bacon wraps, steak fingers, a la Hoosier Carnivore style. So what we're going to do, we've got a nice ribeye. Here it looks like it's about, I don't know, half an inch thick. Not a real thick ribeye. I didn't want a real thick one because we're going to slice this into strips and then we're going to wrap them in bacon. So normally I would not cut the fat, but for these we're going to go ahead and cut our fat trimmings off and we're going to save those and we're going to cook them up in here because carnivores don't waste meat. So we're just going to true up this ribeye so we can cut it into strips. Always want a nice sharp knife for this. And we'll cut this up into nice little carnivore bites that we love. Don't let anything go to waste. Put those in here. Going to cook these up in the old number four. Turn that up a little bit. So now we're going to cut our cut our steak strips. Looks like our meat lines are going this way. So I'm going to slice the steak this way. And I'm just going to slice it to where it's about an even square. So it's just as thick as it is wide. I think that'll make for some good steak strips. Getting ready to watch some football later today. So these will be perfect little snack to have, carnivore style, while we're watching the football game. watching the playoffs. So that one came out a little thick. Got a little piece of fat there on the end. We'll throw that in. All right, now we're going to take our Walmart thick sliced bacon. We're going to start wrapping these up. Start on one end. Twirl these around. If it takes more than one piece of bacon, then it is what it is. We'll cut that off. We've got our bacon wrapped steak. You won't really have to pin that or anything. I'm just going to fry it the way it is. Just like that. I'll be right back. I'm going to wrap up the rest of these and then we'll continue on from there. All right, so we got our bacon wrapped around our beef, around our ribeye here. Looks great. I know you're probably asking yourself, all right, Brett, well, what are you going to do that's so different than what Bill and JT already did? Well, I'm going to make mine heart attack style. Heart attack beef and bacon wrapped beef fingers. That's what we're going to do. 
bacon wrapped steak fingers. Beef tallow going into the number 10 Griswold, the big boy. We got the big skillet. We're going for it. Beef tallow. Going to melt it up. We're going to do bacon wrapped beef fingers. Bacon wrapped steak fingers. Heart attack style. All right, we're getting our beef tallow melted up in the Griswold using some of this Fatworks Pure Organic Pure Tallow. And then I'm also going to substitute in some of my own beef tallow that I've saved from previous cooks. Mmm. So we get a good amount of beef tallow in here for the cook. That should probably be enough. Enough to put maybe a, a quarter inch of oil in the pan or more when it's all melted. Well, no, I'm just kind of taking you along for the ride on this. This is my first time making them and uh, just kind of going by what JT and Bill did. Just ribeye and Walmart great value thick cut bacon. It had the best ingredients. And it is pretty nice, thick cut stuff. Well, I've uh, got a couple pieces of that left over. We're going to cook up. And while we're waiting for our oil to heat up, probably going to have some of our beef bites that we cooked up that are trimmings off the beef. Carnivores don't waste, don't waste meat, right? So good. So good. All right. I'm sure if our skillet is warm enough. We give it a little. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting to cook. I think it's going to be warm enough. Put into the skillet. Number 10 should be big enough for everybody. There we go. Let's get happy. All right, we're going to let these cook up and we'll get back with you. When these get closer to being done. See you in a minute. Looks really good. Starting to cook up nicely. I'm going to have to turn the heat up a little bit. Mm-mm-mm. Alright, here's where we're at now. They're cooking up good. I'm not going to call this a fail. Not just yet. But I think if I had to do it over again, I would use regular cut bacon instead of thick cut. Because it seems like this is the steak is way done before the bacon is done. And I did have a couple pieces come unraveled which I'm going to try to fix up in the smaller pan here separately so I can get these main pieces done. These are just about ready to go. They're crisping up. Some of these longer pieces seem to 
cook up better than the short ones. The short ones came unraveled pretty easily, but these longer ones stayed intact. So note to self for future reference. Use some longer pieces, but this looks and smells absolutely incredible. Smell o vision is what we need about what we need here. Smell o vision. Uh oh, there we go. We'll get that fixed up. Yeah, thick cut bacon, not uh, ideal. Not ideal for this. Pan down. All right, we'll get these off the heat, cooled off, and we'll give them a try. I think it's going to be good. All right, so here's the result. Heart attack style bacon wrapped beef fingers. You see that little ribeye in there? A little thick cut bacon. Wow. Wow. Probably next time do regular bacon instead of the thick cut because it just took longer to cook. Bacon, beef, cooked in beef tallow. No other spices, no other nothing. This is deep fried Rick 40 year carnivore Charger Mopar style, heart attack style. Got to recommend. Give it a try. You could be glad you did. Hmm. Let's go watch some football. Thanks for tuning in. Oh. If any of you are interested in a Hoosier Carnivore t-shirt, they're now available on my spread shop. There's a link on my channel. Check it out. Also, be sure to check out, I'll put links in the description for JT's recipe, of JT's cooking of the steak wrap bacon fingers, as well as the unforgettable Bill Knott. So go check out their channels. Have a good one. Bye.